content security policy is a feature of modern browsers that allows the developer to set up controls in the browser to help protect the application. It's essentially kind of like a web application firewall that's built into the browser itself. It's a collection of technologies, so it's not a single feature, but more so a framework in which there are several different kinds of checks or validations that can be done on input into the application that's coming into the browser before it's able to interact with the application. Originally, it was just a candidate recommendation. And at one point, there was a new header introduced X content security policy. But the X designation was dropped once the new feature was accepted officially. And also, there's been a general movement away from putting X in front of experimental headers and instead just sending the headers through the recommendation process. In any case, the content security policy currently is specified by the header content security policy. There's no longer an X in front of it. It's important to note that content security policy is only supported by modern browsers. Internet Explorer does not support content security policy in the way that would be expected. It recognizes the header, but doesn't implement the controls that are outlined in CSP. Microsoft's newer browser, Edge, shares a similar content security policy feature set as Chrome. So whatever works in Chrome should work in Edge more or less in a similar way. The content security policy has several limitations. First of all, it's not on by default. Developers have to intentionally specify content security policies in order for the browser to act on those policies. Also, it's a blocking control meant to, ex to cut down on exposure, but it doesn't patch vulnerabilities. So just like regular firewalls, input validators, and other exposure controls it doesn't actually fix anything. It's a secondary control that's meant to block or buy some time while the primary control can be developed. So for example, in the case of cross-site scripting, it's not a substitute for proper output encoding. It's a defense in depth technique to protect the application in case the application team forgot to do the output encoding or missed a spot or didn't do the output coding as expected. It also doesn't block all types of injections. In particular, it doesn't block certain types of HTML injection, but it does block enough types of injection that it really defangs HTML injection. And there are certain types of injection like script injection, JavaScript injection in particular, where it can actually do full blocks. This is a browser-based control. So if there's a vulnerability on the server side of the application or a vulnerability in any of the middleware or in the database tier, content security policy cannot help at all. It runs strictly in the user's browser and it's only effective against client-side attacks. In the next section, We'll talk about the challenges with content security policy.